friends and welcome to the physio voice today's physio funda is on an interesting topic cognitive functional therapy disabling low back pain in the absence of a serious pathology is best seen as a neurobiologic or behavioral response to an individual's actual or perceived threat to his body lifestyle or social circumstance and a disruption to his homeostasis Keeping this in mind, let's take a look at the multidimensional factors associated with low back pain. An individual's pain characteristics are highly variable over time and can fluctuate depending on modifiable and non-modifiable factors. The modifiable factors include patient's cognitive and emotional beliefs, his perception of pain, his lifestyle, what are the loads placed on his spine based on his lifestyle, physical factors such as his physical capacity how his posture and movement were before pain and how they are now non modifiable factors include genetics pathoanatomic factors and existing comorbidities a knowledge of these is also important as they can increase patient concerns and anxiety and act as barriers to management various treatment strategies available for low back pain one of the lesser known concepts is of cognitive functional therapy At its basic principle, CFT uses a multidimensional clinical reasoning framework to identify the key modifiable targets in management of low back pain towards person valued goals. How is CFT different from the other strategies? The key points of CFT are it is individualized, it is highly sensitive to patient beliefs, it identifies and targets the modifiable factors, it does not follow the rigid subgrouping system of low back pain and it teaches self management. It starts with an interview process. The aim is to know an individual schema of pain, his emotional and cognitive factors associated with pain, what are his functional activities that has been affected because of pain. The questions asked in the interview should be open ended, sensitive and judgmental. Then only we can know the person valued goals. Next is the functional behavioral assessment whose target is towards the patient valued activities. It includes observation, palpation and clinical examination of the spine. During the assessment, patient interaction is necessary for them to pro- perform the pain provoking functional activities and getting their attention towards their pain expectation and the actual pain experience. The intervention, the first component is making sense of pain where we try to break the vicious cycle of pain, distress, disability again leading to pain by addressing the patient's contextual factors, negative pain beliefs and unhelpful emotional responses. The component is exposure with control and it is a process of behavioral change. The aim here is to make the patient return to his functional activities. This exposure to feared movements is started with body relaxation, diaphragmatic breathing and body scanning techniques to prevent pain escalation and distress. In between sessions, feedback and patient introspection are reinforced to decrease fear and avoidance and these functional strategies are reintegrated into ADLs to generalize the learning process. Third component is lifestyle changes where unhealthy lifestyle factors are modified home exercise program according to personally relevant goals is prescribed and social engagement is encouraged the skills required to implement CFT they are good communication good clinical reasoning good observation skills therapist confidence a good hands on feedback and reeducation skills and the most important is a mindset shift What does evidence have to say about the efficacy of CFT? CFT has substantial reproducibility between trained clinicians. It significantly decreases functional disability and pain in chronic low back pain patients and the effects of CFT are maintained even after 12 months of therapy. Thank you. Do subscribe to our channel The Physio Voice.